Good morning, everyone. So today it is Monday and I started off this morning with a doctor's appointment and I didn't have time to eat breakfast before so I decided that I was in the area and I decided to get pliable. Um, I've never had it before so I'm very excited to try it. I got like a little green bowl and I love smoothie bowls so much so I'm looking forward to it. Oh my gosh, this looks so good wow okay i'm excited but as you can tell by the title i just wanted to do a little week in my life this week because i haven't filmed in a while and i just wanted to catch up and update you i feel like there's just a lot of new things going on in my life right now well not really but kind of so basically because of COVID, I decided that I wanted to take the semester off, but then I was like, I just was initiated into my sorority, so if I don't take classes, then I can't be an active member. So I was like, okay, I literally just joined, so I wanna be an active member this semester. So I decided to just take one class um, because the whole like online courses wasn't really working for me. Um, I just like wasn't getting much out of it so I decided that I would take the semester off and just like work and do YouTube and stuff like that and just like chill this semester um, because I don't care about graduating on time and I would rather like get something out of my education than just like waste the money um, because online school is not fun um, I feel bad for everyone who has to do it right now because it's just not fun i feel bad for the people who are like nursing majors like how the heck are you supposed to do that online but yeah it's a monday morning and i would usually have class right now um but i don't because i'm only taking one class and that's on tuesdays and thursdays um so yeah this semester is definitely gonna be a little bit different um but i'm excited because i can kind of like do i have more time to like do things that i actually enjoy like I would never go and drive all the way to ply bowls and get myself a smoothie bowl on a Monday morning and now I just like can do that you know but look how gorgeous oh, she's perfect okay I should take a picture before I eat this Okay, first bite, here we go. Oh my god! Wow. This is so good. Wow. Pie balls, give me your recipes please okay so <laughs> all right <laughs> okay so i just finished and that was incredible so good now i can see why it's 11 dollars, which is a bummer but um so now i think i'm gonna go to tj maxx because again i'm in the area and i love tj maxx but i also have to get my big a uh, birthday present because it's her 21st birthday today which is so exciting um so i think i'm gonna go stop by and see if there's anything that she might like and then i'll probably head back to school tj maxx haul so i got this mug for myself because i saw it and i was like i can't just not get that Look how cute this is. I'm so excited and it's huge. It's perfect for like cereal because I don't actually drink hot coffee, but I do eat cereal in mugs. So it's a cereal mug. <laughs> yeah, it's so cute that I actually decided to get her the same one. So yeah, same mug. Is it weird to show you what I got her? Oh well. 
And then I just got her these little clips because she always wears her hair in like little claw, cl claw clips. Why can't I say that? Claw clips and there's a gold and then a silver one. And I just thought that these were really cute. And then of course a candle. You really can't go to TJ Maxx and not get a candle. Um, but this one smells really good. And I thought that it was also super cute. And the last thing, just like a cute little plant. Again, I feel like you can't go to TJ Maxx without getting a little plant. But yeah, she can put this like in her room or whatever. But yeah, I'm probably gonna just like make a little basket and then bring it over. But I just love TJ Maxx. Okay, so here is the finished product. It's so cute. I have a little 21. My friends got that for me, so I'm just gonna pass it along. Um, and then we have the plant, the clips. So cute, and then I added some nips because she is turning 21, so just wanted to throw some alcohol in there because it seemed appropriate. And yeah, now I'm just gonna go deliver it to her. I just dropped off the birthday gift, and now I'm gonna go get some packages. that I got I'm really excited to try out this um everyone has the like Revlon one but my mom got that and hers broke really fast so I'm gonna try out this hot tools one and I'll let you know how it goes but then I just got a whole bunch of workout clothes um I don't think I'm gonna try them on just because I'm lazy but Highly recommend the brand CRZ Yoga on Amazon for some cheap and cute workout clothes. It is a lot later. I actually took a nap and then I showered. And now I want to try out the little blow dryer brush that I got. So I'm going to do that while I'm in chapter. <laughs> um, so yeah. That's kind of what I'm doing for tonight. Okay, I am shook by this hair tool. It looks like I got like a professional blowout. And it took me like 20 minutes. Wow, I highly recommend. I'm also terrible at styling my hair. So this is just, it's magic. I highly recommend. But yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight. So I will see you guys in the morning.
all right so it is a few hours later i took my class and i ate breakfast hasn't really been an exciting day and i was gonna go run some errands but it's gonna start snowing soon and i hate driving in the snow so i'm just not gonna risk it and i'll save that for another day and i think i'm honestly just gonna have a really chill day i'm gonna catch up on the bachelor um which i kind of hate this season i don't know it's just does anyone else feel like it's the same thing over and over and over again like obviously last season was like very different but even still i just i don't know not feeling it this season but i'm still gonna watch it <laughs> so i'm gonna do that and oh also last night very spur of the moment i applied to be a foster mom for a cat so i've been waiting all day to see if they're gonna reply and i really hope they do because i just love animals so much and i miss my dog and ideally i would want to foster a dog but i feel like i want to like start with a cat because dogs are definitely more dogs are definitely harder to take care of than a cat so yeah we'll see about that and then i just applied for a few ambassador programs um gray bandit is doing one right now and I love their company so so much so i just thought i would apply yeah that's pretty much how my afternoon is going really warm and i'm just waiting for it to start to snow but i don't see any yet so we'll keep you updated okay so i know that i just said that that i'm having a hard time watching it this season because it's just so repetitive but there are a few new things that they're doing that they haven't done before that they did on Tasha's season and now this season. And like I understood it on Tasha's season. But why are they bringing in girls halfway through? Like I'm confused. And also, when he's giving out a rose, like why do they like give a little speech about like three other girls and then they're like oh just kidding you're not the one getting the rose they're like oh mj like i love talking to you about this but then turns to someone else and is like but we had a better conversation i i just don't agree it's getting back from the grocery store this morning i um woke up made some breakfast wrote my grocery list and then did some yoga which is different for me i don't really ever do yoga but i gave it a try this morning it was nice and then i did a little bit of a workout and then i went to the grocery store which for reference is the, that building right there so 
it's really close to my apartment however i got more groceries than i was expecting and i walk there obviously because it's so close and i was carrying like three pretty much four bags um of groceries that were so heavy all the way back to my apartment and my arms are like shaking they're so dead because my arms are noodles and i never work out my arms and yeah it was a journey to say the least so now i'm kind of exhausted and i'm just laying in my bed my day is pretty much I am meeting with this family who I'm going to nanny for during the week and then I have to do spring recruitment which is exciting I already did one round and then tonight is the second round so if you guys didn't know I joined a sorority last semester so this semester it's like really new because now I'm on the other side of it and recruiting other girls to join um but it's fun, the first round was fun. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but I have to get ready to go meet this family. But all I wanna do is sleep, but it's okay, we'll get there. All right, I'm about to head out to go see the family I'm gonna nanny for. Wanted to do a little OOTD, my jeans are from Pretty Little Thing. Top is Brandy Melville, jacket is Shein, and then these necklaces are from Amazon, and so is this ring. So yeah, just thought it was cute, wanted to show. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Good morning, everyone. Just woke up, ate breakfast, and then went to Starbucks and got this new drink that I'm excited to try. And I am gonna go run the errands that I couldn't get to do yesterday because it snowed. And yeah, that's pretty much what my day is gonna look like. We'll see where I go from there. But I wanted to try this drink because this girl I follow on Instagram gets it all the time and it looks really good. So I wanted to try it. But it's a grande iced white mocha with extra ice in a venti cup with almond milk and cold foam so let's see how this bad boy tastes Ooh. that's really good i've been getting my coffees decaf um recently because I think caffeine can like kind of trigger my anxiety i don't know if anyone else feels that way but i think like the shakiness that i feel when i drink caffeine makes my mind think that i'm like having a panic attack when i'm not and then i get anxious because i think i'm anxious does that make any sense but i've been getting my coffees decaf because i do like the taste first place that we are going to stop today is Tommy's Tanning, um, which I'm so excited about because they will do these like free tan weekends, but because of COVID, they haven't done them in like a year, um, obviously. But they opened back up and then they're doing these free tan week weekends again. Um, but this one's a little bit different. It's like you can just go and get like a, fr like a free three day pass which I understand if you're doing like the beds, but I don't do those because they terrify me and I don't want to get cancer. So I'm going to do the, the spray tan, but I'm kind of confused because like, why would I get a spray tan three days in a row? Wouldn't I just be like so, so orange? So I think I'm just going to go today, but yeah, it's free. So I was like, why not? I love being tan. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> 